Stealth has always been a top priority when it comes to national defense and surveillance. From camouflage drones to undetectable spies, the US has always strived to be at the forefront of the national defense race. The latest submarine from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, just might be the piece of technology that pushes America to the front of the race. Meet the Manta Ray, a UUV or uncrewed underwater vehicle designed to conserve energy and rest on the ocean floor for months on end. This vehicle just might change the game in naval warfare. The Manta Ray is an autonomous submarine designed to resemble the sea creature of the same name. It looks like a manta ray, moves like a manta ray, and doesn't require humans on board. Instead, it works with a combination of artificial intelligence and machine learning. You're probably wondering why this vehicle was modeled after an animal that looks like a pancake. Well, it turns out that pancakes, I mean manta rays, are masters of stealth and elegance, gliding through the ocean like they own the place. The manta ray UUV is built for underwater travel endurance, stealth, and longevity. This is what makes the manta ray such a threat. The UUV is about 45 feet long and its compact design is just one more thing that makes it stand out among other similar UUVs. One of the fascinating things about the manta ray is its propulsion. As a glider vehicle, the manta ray moves up and down as needed by pumping seawater within it to change the buoyancy and thus the weight of the craft. From when the Manta Ray was first announced to the recent test drives the vehicle was taken on, interest in the device has only grown. People have wondered just how long can it stay underwater, and what exactly can it be used for when it comes to naval defense and warfare. After all, it is a nearly undetectable submarine, and any sci-fi or military movie would let you know that those are the big guns. The Manta Ray program was first launched by DARPA in 2020 in an effort to promote energy saving and increase payload capacity in underwater vehicles. To achieve their goals, DARPA sent out a design request and got responses from some of the world's biggest defense companies, including Northrop Grumman, PacMar Technologies, and Lockheed Martin. Northrop came out victorious and have since worked with DARPA to create the device. DARPA had very specific requirements for what the design of the manta ray would be. This included communication capabilities, threat detection, energy efficiency, durability, and autonomy. Since its launch, the various personnel involved in the project have released exciting updates on it, keeping those following its development up to date. The big reveal of the first fully assembled manta ray came from Northrop Grumman's LinkedIn and was reshared by Todd Levitt, the Vice President of Naval and Oceanic Systems at Northrop Grumman. The company proudly revealed the first ever pictures of a fully assembled manta ray to the public. The manta ray was designed by DARPA in collaboration with Northrop Grumman Corporation, an aerospace design company, and will be used for long-ranged underwater missions. The drone has a diamond-shaped body that resembles a manta ray's fish's wing, and allows it to bend in with other creatures at the bottom of the sea. The manta ray also has many features that make it stand out from other modern submarine technology. This sub just might be the next stage in underwater warfare, and it has such a cool design that even tech nerds who wouldn't care less about warfare are singing its praises. The manta ray is an autonomous submarine, which means that it doesn't need any humans on board to operate. This is a huge step for national defense as it can carry out surveillance missions at depths that might not be safe for humans. It also means that no one would be at risk of capture if the manta ray ever got compromised. Northrop Grumman specializes in UUVs and its marketing clearly shows that it is more than proud of the work done on the manta ray. Many companies have attempted to make camouflage UVs, such as Anduril, Dive Technologies, and even Boeing. However, the Manta Ray is ushering in a new class of UUVs as stated on the Northrop Grumman website. This deep sea machine is designed to carry out long missions and has an energy saving feature where it rests in the seabed to hibernate. The Manta Ray anchors itself to the ground and goes into a low energy mode, allowing it to rest and conserve energy when it is not in motion. 
Working with Northrop Grumman's designs, the Manta Ray is a technological marvel. It can carry equipment of various sizes, which makes it suited for different kinds of missions and can also be reassembled. The modularity of the Manta Ray is a key feature as this aids with transportation and storing the vehicle. According to the website, the Manta Ray can be stored in five standard shipping containers, which will surely aid in worldwide delivery. Another key feature of the Manta Ray is its energy efficiency. We said earlier that the Manta Ray is designed for long duration missions and can hibernate under sea in a power saving mode. But how exactly is this submarine powered and fueled? There are a few options for how to power a submarine. Many submarines run on diesel, which isn't suitable or environmentally friendly. Solar powered submarines are also very popular but these would have to rise to the surface periodically to get powered up by the sun. Submarines can also use other renewable energy sources, such as hydroelectric or thermal. The Manta Ray can dive deeper than any known submarine to the ocean floor. It then harnesses energy from the ocean's currents using a retractable energy harvesting device that anchors it to the seabed. The Manta Ray was taken out for its first set of sea trials in May this year, in the coast of Southern California. The images from this launch swept the internet, reminding people of the curious project and building intrigue. The test covered all the performance metrics the UUV had to hit, using all its propulsion modes, including buoyancy, propellers, and control surfaces. The test also displayed the modularity of the Manta Ray, as the vehicle was shipped in parts to the test location providing the ease of transportation and assembly. This is important because it means that the Manta Ray can be used worldwide without worrying about it taking up space at docks or on ships. Dr. Kyle Werner, the program manager for the Manta Ray at DARPA, confirmed that all testing was successful and that the vehicle was ready for real world operations. DARPA is reportedly in conversations with the US Navy about the next steps for the Manta Ray and how it can be incorporated into the military. Of course, while the Manta Ray might look ready to audition for the next Godzilla movie, it's not here to terrorize Tokyo just to make military operations much smoother. The Manta Ray would fit right in with any sci-fi movie and certainly feeds into people's beliefs of what futuristic technology could look like. While it is all fun and games to compare the Manta Ray to a B-12 Raider bomber or an aquatic AI monster from the next Godzilla movie, it is impossible not to consider the impact this vehicle could have on military operations. Tensions between China and the US have been rising, especially in the waters of Taiwan, where a Chinese warship almost collided with a US vessel. The military competition between great world powers has been ongoing for decades as each nation tries to one-up the other. When news of some new military technology comes out of the country, we see the others scramble to catch up and overtake them. The Manta Ray seems to be the ultimate naval weapon. It has multiple payload bays and different sizes to carry all kinds of cargo, which could easily include weapons. Not to mention that the Manta Ray uses passive sonar, which allows it to listen in the ocean without emitting any waves. It can collect data at wide ranges while being virtually undetectable to other vessels. On top of this feature, the Manta Ray can also be used as a projectile. The benefit of an uncrewed vehicle is that there is no risk of human loss, and they are expendable. The Manta Ray itself can be launched towards an enemy vessel and used as a weapon due to its size and speed. They might as well have named it the Stingray, because the Chinese were so stung by how advanced the Manta Ray is that they decided to make one of their own. CCTV has reported that China has at least six soft body submersibles that are quite similar to the Manta Ray. These submersibles were designed at the Northwestern Polytechnical University of China and are reportedly already being deployed. These submersibles from China lack the elegance of the Manta Ray, but they make up for it in defense and reconnaissance features. These include the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, China's highly advanced radio navigation system and cameras, sonar, and heavy payload capabilities. Due to China's secretive nature, not much is known about the state of development of their Manta Ray variant, but it is clear that development is happening fast. At this rate, both the US and China would have fully functional UUVs in no time, taking naval warfare to new depths in a very literal way. The US seems to be ahead of the race at this time, partly because all of their eggs are not in the Manta Ray basket. 
the AUKUS alliance, consisting of Australia, the US, and the UK, is also working on some submersible drones that can be used for exploration and attack. What do you think the manta ray's best feature is? Will it be enough to keep the United States one step ahead in the theater of naval warfare? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating and fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.